sleepy head. Are you still sleeping? <laughs> You're like a teenager already. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> Did he sleep good? No, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've been waiting forever and ever for you to wake up. Just been waiting and waiting. Well, good morning, Davy Crew. We're just starting off our Wednesday with a slow morning, huh? Sleeping in. I don't know what we have planned for today. I think it's supposed to be like in the 80s. So I kind of want to go to the pool and swim maybe. Um, probably swim. Probably swim. So yeah, we'll see what we do today. Tell the camera what you just said. That was so funny. <laughs> Can I show them? You move your head. Scout just saw this fish and she said, why does this fish have a, f a knife, a fork, and a tail? <laughs> Whew, we've had breakfast and laundry is going. The bed is made. The entire house is clean, which is crazy for a Wednesday. I feel like normally I'm like on top of my game at the beginning of the week, but then it slowly unravels. So to feel like I have everything together on a Wednesday is kind of good. Kind of a nice change. Um, Scout is in here doing a really cool little book. I don't know if you call it Usborn or Oozborn. I don't know how you say the brand, Usborn. Um, but my parents got her this really neat book and it's called, I think it's called a wipe clean book. Um, so she has a dry erase marker and she can trace things and she is learning how to trace numbers. She's doing so good. If you don't follow me on Instagram, a couple weeks ago I posted a video of her tracing her name. So now we're doing numbers and stuff like that. I would love to get her one of these books that is just of the alphabet. But anyways, that's what Scouty is practicing doing. Oh, and something that I wanted to mention today because this is kind of like a big deal, a big day for us. Um, it has officially been one whole year as of today since Ollie passed away and I just can't believe it and I've had a lot of like I don't know a lot of emotions leading up to today I know it's just another day but there are a lot of really sad memories for this day a year ago um, I don't know it's just hard to it's hard to believe that that much time has already passed I just really can't believe it there was a video um, that went up soon after we moved into this new place and it was titled our first our first home without her or something like that and it is weird I mean it's weird that we're in a new place a place that she's never been and in a way maybe that makes this one year mark like a little bit easier but we still definitely feel like a part of our little family is missing huh do we miss Ollie is that, is that our first family? Ollie was a part of our family huh she was mommy's first baby <laughs> so yeah it's Ollie's one year oh so she sad died. what did you say Ollie died. Yeah, poor girl. One thing that I'm so thankful for though is just how many vlogs we have with Olive in them. Um, I mean, Olive was around since the beginning of vlogging, so we have lots and lots of videos of her, and I'm so glad. And I'm really glad that Scout can go back and watch her and Ollie together because I'm sure her memories of Olive, like her true memories, are probably fading. She might feel like she remembers things, but it'll probably just be from watching videos. So I'm just glad that we have those to look back on, and we we miss our Ollie poo. <laughs> Did you get Ollie? Look at that! And I'm so glad you have that pillow. That's a very special pillow, huh? For me. Yeah. Hello. Scouty, do you remember Olive? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you remember how sh sweet she was with you when you were a baby? I get seen Olive. <laughs> I was in that bad I want to 
two and a punch. Mm -hmm. So good. So you can see on some of the numbers that she does start at the bottom and I know that technically she's supposed to be starting at the top But right now I'm not gonna worry about that I'm just happy that she can follow a line and that she has enough hand control to like actually follow the number So anyways, I think these are really cool books. I'm, I'm happy that she has this Yay Someone just walked through the door. I want to watch a show. She wants to watch a show, and I said no. No show. Yeah! Catch. Today's one year. Today is one year of Ollie. I was just talking about it. All right, Josh has to eat lunch, but how do you feel? Sad? No. No? At peace about it? I'm happy with the time that we had with Olive. I know. It was just a good a seven years. To live full term, it would just would <laughs> have exploded. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys ready to see Scout turn into a mermaid? Ready, set. What be my thing? You don't care. You ready to go to the pool? Yeah. Good job. Bring your towel, your cover up, mommy's towel. What else do we need? Grab the lotion. We'll bring extra lotion. And let's bring some water. Alright, we're getting ready to go to the pool. I'm really hoping that they have started, like, not warming up the pool. Well, warming up the pool. <laughs> I hope that they've warmed up the pool a little bit. Because the last time we were there, it was freezing cold. And it's definitely, like, too hot today to go in a hot tub. So, I'm praying we can get in the pool. And I haven't swam with my big pregnant belly. Check that out. So I want to get Indy in the pool for the first time. Are we going to bring a floaty? Yeah! My pink floaty! Okay. Let's go. I have pink floaty. Wow. There's a giant swarm of bees in the tree. That's so crazy. Wow. That is weird. Look at that cutie. 
Well, we got in the pool, but unfortunately, the regular pool is not warmed up at all. So we had to get in the lap pool, which I guess they do warm up for people. So even though technically kids are not supposed to be in the lap pool, there was nobody swimming laps when we were in there. So we just got in and I it felt in good. And I said that wasn't my first pool ever. You said it wasn't your first pool ever? Now she thinks she's Elsa in her towel. <laughs> You're so cute. And I'm sunbathing the belly. Scout keeps saying she's ready to go home and that she's tired, so I guess my sunbathing is being cut off. <laughs> Poor me. What are we gonna do when we go home? Make banana ice cream. Woohoo! That sounds so yummy. So last night I noticed that a few of our bananas were going kind of brown so I put them in the freezer and today I want to make banana ice cream. I used to do this all the time. I would put bananas, peanut butter, um, like soy milk or milk and today I'm going to put some chocolate chips. So I am excited to make some banana ice cream. So here's the finished product. They're kind of like banana smoothie bowl things. So I crushed up some chocolate chips and added that in there and it is good. I can't wait to eat it. But I set these bowls out and I was like, all right, the ice cream is ready. I'm gonna go grab Scout. Where did she go? Wait, where is Scout? And then I walk in the bedroom and I see this. So I guess I'm eating my ice cream alone and sticking hers back in the freezer. Poor thing, she was really tired. All right, you guys, well it is 7.30, Scout is still sleeping, so I should definitely go wake her up. I don't know what I did today that wore her out so much, but Josh is my witness that when he was home for lunch, she did have a crazy meltdown, remember? So maybe she's just extra tired today? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What was I gonna say? Gosh dang. Oh. <laughs> I plugged the GoPro into my computer to load the footage from the pool and I found out that I had somehow taken just a bunch of clips, like images, like still images. So it's not a video of us at the pool, it's images but I'm gonna just like do like a stop motion thing. I don't know. I don't know how I screwed up the GoPro but I did. Tell them what you're doing. So something exciting is that Josh um, joined a new gym. I want to talk about it because it's been talked about so many times no, in my life. Well, here's the thing. That when we lived up north, we had an awesome routine going where both of us were going to the gym. We had joined Crunch, which I loved Crunch. This is exactly I, Crunch. It's, exi it's, it's like, literally it's exactly similar crunch. to Crunch, but it's not a Crunch. So I'm not going to say what gym he goes to. So anyways, his new routine is to come home from work, eat dinner, watch a show or do his class, his project management class, and then go to the gym, and then come home and take a shower and go to bed and then go to work. That's my schedule. Nobody told me it being an adult was gonna be like this. <laughs> but you know what? One day when I'm 50 years old, it might pay off. Good morning. <sighs> you can put that in the vlog. <laughs> Guys, don't you Wednesday. think Josh needs to, what happened to like your motivational speeches and like, you know what I mean? Like you used to, I know. in our old videos, you, you used to get real person. and you used to like talk to the camera and you used to I'll get, get real. good advice. I'll get real. 
I think it's very important to be positive. I totally believe that. I believe speaking words, I believe in like you speak it, it'll become. As long as you keep doing that, I totally get that. However, I've met a lot of people that all they do is focus on being positive all the time and there's never a moment where reality, sometimes I feel like you just have to take a moment and you can realize that right now life is freaking hard, it is really hard for me, I know that their life is much tougher for other people, I don't disagree, like it's kind of like the, well there's starving kids in Africa, I totally understand that and I'm not trying to take away from anybody else's pain, however, in our individual lives we go through things that are frustrating, that are hard, and this is a hard time. I feel like I'm exhausted and I feel bad because I come home and Scott's either sleeping and then I go to the gym or I'm working on my class and it's like I feel like I don't get good family time and then the weekends I feel like we're off doing whatever and then all of a sudden it's Monday again and I'm just, it's kind of like, ah, it's going crazy and at the end of the day you could say, well, you're making money and you're whatever but it's frustrating when I we can't save right now. Like, we are stretched to the limit. Literally to the limit. <laughs> and yes, we do have things like Disneyland passes. And there's a story behind that of how we got those Disneyland passes. And I, I don't mean to, like, go through everything and say that we're poor or whatever. But I'm saying that our life right now involves me having to work a lot. And even though I'm very appreciative of everything that I have, I'm very, I'm also just tired. Just tired. So I don't complain about the opportunity I have because I think I'm, I've got better opportunity than a lot of people. I'm just it, kind of exhausted right now. So when it comes to vlogs, I've always been kind of a camera shy person even though, and I think it shows on the vlogs, but some people say it doesn't. But it's just, when I feel I'm like just you just got out of the groove of it. You just yeah. got out of the groove. Cause you were in a good group. Right, but now I start working. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm working and I'm really focused and then I come home and I do my class, I'm just kind of mentally drained. And so when the camera comes on and Kayla like puts it in my face, I'm kind of like, what are you doing? I don't want to talk right now. I've been talking all day. I think it's okay to look at life and say, you know what? It's, it's hard right now. I'm tired and I need to, I don't know, just have a moment, of, kind of like a moment of rest. So. But what gives you rest? I don't know. I haven't found that out yet. I told you I'm tired. <laughs> Thanks for making me happy and talking to the camera. I know you guys miss Josh. I know you miss him being in the vlogs. I miss Josh. <laughs> Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night so I can get some editing done. Scout is awake, I guess. I guess I didn't have to wake her up. Um, but now her and I need to eat dinner. Josh already ate. We have not eaten. I think I am gonna film tomorrow because blah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna go do my uh, What is it called? Glucose test or whatever a couple weeks later than I was supposed to do it They told me to do it right at 26 weeks and I'm already 28 weeks. So anyways Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye Connor's going to the army